Do you know where you should be placing your profit target and why you should be placing your profit target at that level? Let's talk about that and more right now. Hey traders, it's Andrew Mitchum here from the Forex Trading Coach with video and podcast number 339. Coming to you from Nelson in the South Island where we're just setting up here. I've got a webinar tonight for clients and uh, just setting up in a new property that we're moving into and uh, not quite there yet. We'll be here properly in a couple of months from now, uh, but just getting things set up in the office here. Um, Hence the change in the background and uh, just the two screens, not four. Um, so yeah, we want to talk about profit targets. You know, we talk a lot about stop losses and stop losses, of course, are very important because without a stop loss, you're not protecting your trade. And without knowing where you're putting your stop loss, you don't know the position size you need, the lot size you need to keep your risk equal. Uh, but also another very uh, difficult part of trading is where to put your profit target and why. And how do you decide where to put your profit target? What determines that? Does it determine by the currency pair, the time frame, the conditions at the time? What is it that you do to determine that? And you can't just sort of make it up on the go. You know, you've got to have a bit of a plan about this. Um, and, and also, you know, we talk a lot about high, re- risk, high reward to risk trades. And it's very important that you don't just go, I've got a 20 pip stop loss, so I need to put a 40 pip or a 60 pip profit target. Uh, simply because, you know, you hear me talk about you need a two or three to one reward to risk trade. It's important that you don't do that. Yes, you need high reward to risk out of your trade, uh, but you need to also put your profit target at a level that's a sensible level for a reason for that trade at that time. And that might be different depending on the currency pair or the time frame, market conditions, etc. So how do you know? Um, so it's really important that we get this right because, of course, it can make or break your trading performance. Um, and the whole point of a profit target is, is when the price gets there, the market closes you for a profit and you haven't got to be at your computer worrying about the trade being open and you know those type of things. So it's important that we do that. So how do we approach that? Well, um, because we're technical traders, we're always looking at, you know, price action and we're looking at, at, at charts. Um, you know, it'd be very difficult as a news trader, I would imagine, uh, to know exactly where to put your profit target because it depends on the reaction of that news and things like that. Whereas as technical traders, we've got a lot of things that that's actually in our favor. You know, we can see, let's say you're taking a buy trade of where the price last bounced. Uh, For example, where's the next likely resistance level? But the approach that we take at the Forex Trading Coach is twofold. So if we're trading and we split our trading up, if we're trading one hour charts and shorter, which to be honest, personally, I don't do a lot of. But if we were, we're looking at current market momentum. We're looking at what's happening in the market right now. Because on an hour chart or a 15 minute chart, you don't want to be worrying about retracements and things like that. You want to get in at the market because you're trying to ride the current momentum at the time. So it's very important with the market order that your profit target is placed, you know, at let's say buy trade, you know, before a previous swing high or below the next round number. Um, You don't want to be sort of trying to have your profit target through the pivot point, let's say, as an example, things like that. So you always want to bring your profit target for a buy trade on an hour chart or lower uh, below the next likely stalling point, the next resistance level. Really important that you can do that. Um, and of course, we you know teach how to do that, and we take it you know on my webinar that I'm holding tonight. I'm sure there'll be some trades I'll be taking on hour charts or 15 minute charts, and we'll be doing just that. Uh, likewise, of course, for a sell trade, make sure your profit target is before or above the last support level um, and or round number. So that's how we trade the shorter time frames. But when we're trading the longer time frame charts, so four hour charts, daily charts. Um, six hours, 12 hours, uh, dailies, weeklies, monthlies, etc. longer time frame charts. Um, We're using the momentum in the market at the time to help determine that. So we use FIB levels. And I have a way of using FIBs that's quite different to the standard way of using FIBs. You know, it's very easy to use, very easy to understand, very easy to draw the FIBs. And also they give you your price projections. So, you know, they, they are determined um, by the current market conditions. So as an example, if I'm taking a, a trade on the um, British pound US dollar daily chart, my profit target on a trade that I might have taken last week 
may be very, very different in terms of the size of that profit target to where the profit target might be on a trade today. Same pair, same time frame, but uh, due to like the actual size of the setup candle, the current market conditions, it might be very um, different in terms of the, the pip size of the, of the profit target. But of course, that's very easy to use and understand and know exactly where those targets are when you use the fibs the way that, that I have developed and, and teach. And because there's no subjective, you know, oh, I might move it there or I might put it there. It's very obvious. This is where we put it. And, you know, and it's also remarkably accurate of how often the price gets to those levels because, um, our profit target coincides with support and resistance levels. And, and again, it's all something that we, we cover and teach as part of the course. But it's amazing how often on all time frame charts, whether it be a four hour chart or a monthly chart, how often those profit targets get hit and then the price might turn around and retrace. But for us, it doesn't matter because we've already taken the profit out of that trade and hit full profit. So various ways of doing it depending on the time frame chart that you're trading. Um, if you'd like to know more, um, feel free to email me, Andrew, at theforexttradingcoach.com. Have a look at the website. Have a look at what we offer within the course. There's so much information there. You know, like I said, live to our webinar I'm holding tonight for clients. We'll have clients on there from all around the world, um, hundreds of clients on there, all learning together, all enjoying the same system, the same strategy. Um, a different time frame charts will be trading depending on what the market conditions show. And these are weekly webinars, you know, weekly every two weeks, uh, sorry, every uh, two weeks it's with myself in the European session and then the alternative week, uh, Paul Tillman, who works for me over in the US trading the US session. So lots and lots of information. Um, you know, we're posting daily trade information on our membership site each day. We're posting information on our forum site all the time around the clock. Um, so lots of very, very good information to help you becoming a successful trader. So once again, this is Andrew Mitchum from the Forex Training Coach. I'll see you this time next week. Bye for now.